The shortest distance between two points is obviously a straight line. Simple enough, but that is not always the case if you're working for the city of Chicago. As Dane Placco investigates, a whistleblower who works for the water department says he was taken on a wild ride recently by a co-worker who wanted to kill time. Why'd you decide to blow the whistle? Well, this guy is wasting taxpayers' money. He's wasting fuel on the trucks. Meet Bruce Randazzo, a 15-year employee of the city's Department of Water Management and an admitted squeaky wheel. This is the letter Randazzo sent earlier in the month to the department's commissioner, complaining about what happened during the early morning hours of April 4th. Randazzo was teamed up with a water department plumber on an inspection team. Randazzo says they were given a list of 20 or so north side addresses to check overnight for reports of water leaks in the street or broken sewers, but none with priority. On this day, he routes them. He told you where to go. He tells me where to go and I write down a location. With Randazzo driving, the truck left the Sunnyside Yard on the northwest side shortly before midnight. Here's a map showing the 10 locations they got to that night. And here's the route Randazzo says his partner ordered him to drive, zigzagging back and forth, up and down across the Northside District for hours, dividing up addresses that in some cases were just a couple blocks apart. So what's going through your mind as you're driving all these long distances? Uh, this guy's screwing around. He's not wanting to do his job. He's wanting to, you know, waste time. According to Randazzo's vehicle log that night, the inspection team drove for four hours and 17 minutes, did inspections and took breaks totaling an hour and 28 minutes, and put 69 miles on their city truck. How long should this route have taken you? This, this whole complete thing mm -hmm. right here? Mm -hmm. About two hours. You could have done it in two hours. Two hours, two and a half hours, it would have been done. And then we would have done more. So we checked it out ourselves, but this time we used GPS to organize the route and minimize the distance between stops. Continue 400 feet, then turn right on North Austin Avenue. So instead of zigzagging all over the north side, we drove this, a circle route starting at the dispatch yard and running clockwise between all 10 locations, minimizing time and distance between stops. And here we are back at the water department yard. Instead of a 69 mile trip, our odometer read 29 miles. Miles. And instead of driving for more than four hours, we made the trip in heavier traffic in just an hour and 51 minutes. Randazzo says it's happened multiple times with this coworker, and he even wrote on the vehicle log that his partner picked the route. You talked to your bosses about this? Oh, I talked to the boss. The boss told me, he says, oh, leave him alone. He's a good guy. I showed him my sheet. I says, look at this. This is ridiculous. He says, get out of here. Don't come back with this complaint no more. A water department spokesman says the boss denies having that conversation with Randazzo. In a statement, the spokesman says the department takes these allegations seriously and is currently looking into the matter. The urgency of each call for service takes priority over its proximity to other calls for service. Based on professional experience and expertise, it is up to the plumber foreman of the crew to prioritize the assigned workload for each shift. Randazzo says on that particular night, though, there were no emergencies and none of the calls were prioritized, something the city disputes. Jeff, you're probably wondering, why don't they have any kind of software or a computer program that tells these guys where to go? You know, like yeah. delivery services well, you use. Would think so, yeah. You would think so. The water department says they don't have any of that right now. They prefer to let these guys figure it out on their own. However, an alderman I talked to says, looking at that sheet, maybe it's time they get something yeah, like that. Yeah, perhaps this will change. Something. We'll see. All right. Dane, thank you. Sure.